Hi everyone, Steve here, and just hoping that you're all keeping safe and well. Uh, we're still in lockdown as we approach the end of April, and I know we, as in my family and I, are very lucky with our garden and the amount of nice weather we've had, uh, but not everyone is as lucky as that. I completely appreciate that. Uh, I'm part of the Shieldy group, so as I currently take immunosuppressant drugs, uh, I'm grateful to our daughters being able to help look after my wife and I through all this. Anyway, on to today's episode. Uh, I've been trying to find a better way to provide some cooking ideas, as the stress of cooking and filming at the same time is becoming quite difficult. Um, I've changed it up a little bit on this one, and you can give me some feedback on whether this is better video for you, uh, or if you have any suggestions for change, then please do let me know uh, in the comments. Um, apart from anything, it's a good way to just catch up and just say hello to you uh, all at the same time. Uh, today we had our chicken and white sauce pie, as we call it. It's not really a pie, but it's kind of is at the same time. We start with cooking chicken breasts, but you could swap this out for boneless thighs. I cooked them for around 30 minutes in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade. Make sure you season them before you go into the oven. Uh, we use skin on breasts as well for this. Once cooked, slice the breast and place it on a bottom of roasting tray or a dish, whatever you have. We use the same dish for enchiladas, shepherd's pie, uh, even just for putting out nachos in the oven. Uh, it's a pretty versatile type of dish. Uh, I then boiled some broccoli and cauliflower in a pot and we had leftover mashed potatoes from the previous day's dinner. Uh, layer the cooked broccoli and cauliflower over the chicken, then add your white sauce. Now we buy the Bisto white sauce granules, um, you'll find that next to the gravy granules in your supermarket. But you can find a quick and easy homemade recipe for it online as well. Um, in our white sauce we add some extra seasoning, a spoonful of English mustard, uh, some grated cheese, and then you pour that over the chicken, broccoli and cauliflower. Then you add your mashed potatoes, uh, use the mashed potatoes as a pie topping, much like shepherd's pie, cottage pie type thing. We add a sprinkle of grated cheese at the top of the mash and then you put them in the oven for around 30 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius. It just heats the whole dish through uh, and allows the cheese to melt into the mash a little. Uh, then you just serve it. We tend to put it in the middle of the table and let people help themselves to as big or a small portion as they want. Uh, and I always go back for second portions. Right, well that's me off for now. Thanks again for the continued support for the channel. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, share the videos, leave comments, leave suggestions. Just nice to hear from every, everyone. Take care, stay safe, uh, and I'll wait to wash my hands. No? May the force be with you. See ya.